A favorite blogger of mine who has since retired from blogging is J.P. Livingston. I'm sorry to inform you that her blog, The Money Habit, is gone. I guess that's an inherent risk with FIRE, or financial independence retired early, bloggers. So much thinking and writing about financial independence helps liberate them from their typical employment first. Then, it's probably only a matter of time before their time-consuming blog starts to feel like a new job, and a totally unnecessary job at that. In addition, Livingston, and I should clarify that Livingston is a pseudonym, was more private than most fire bloggers. I'm guessing it didn't take much after she retired and had a baby to decide the blog was no longer worth continuing. But you can still find a little of Livingston's writing online. In 2018, she wrote this insightful article for Business Insider. In it, she highlighted the great value of information or knowledge in building wealth. Here's a quote of hers that's worth contemplating. The difference between two people with the same circumstances but different knowledge of their opportunities can easily be a million dollars. Now that's not the quote that I want to focus on most in this video, but I do want to put a bright spotlight on the idea that knowledge can be worth a lot. For many people, hustling for additional income will not yield nearly as good a return on investment as reading and acting on high quality information. That's how I view this next quote from author James Clear. The quote contains powerful information. It reminds us that automating decisions can make a tremendous difference in helping us reach our goals. When scientists analyze people who appear to have tremendous self-control, it turns out these individuals aren't all that different from those who are struggling. Instead, Disciplined people are better at structuring their lives in a way that does not require heroic willpower and self-control. So I know we've all got ideas, based on rich experience, about what differentiates geniuses, the ultra-successful, from the knuckleheads. But Clear has an insight that I don't think a lot of authors have fully considered. He stresses that the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is not what goals they hold. Their goals are often very similar. Instead, Clear says, the difference is how they've leveraged knowledge to build systems to succeed. Successful people aren't overly reliant on their self-discipline. They structure their lives in ways that make self-discipline less important. That should be a relief to us. If we're being honest with ourselves, we've all failed to exhibit optimal self-control at some point recently. So let's suspend our slouching, sit up straight, and take note of what Clear is saying. When people's systems depend on motivation or willpower to achieve financial goals, those systems are prone to failure. When systems instead have more automatic components, or at least components that are very easy to execute, success becomes much more likely. A good example of this in personal finance is having a portion of your money automatically diverted to investment accounts every month. To keep steadily investing, you only need to use willpower at the beginning while filling out paperwork that gets this monthly ritual started. But after that, the wealth building is simply automatic. How do you use automation in your finances? And what do you think of Clear's statement? I hope you'll tell us in the comments. And if you have any willpower left now that you've reached the end of this video, I hope you'll tap or click that subscribe button so you can enjoy more videos from the Multicollinearity channel. Thanks for watching.